Happy Friday, and we're sorry to start you off with some more bad news from Facebook, but if you haven't already heard, the social network is saying we're sorry yet again after it was revealed that a development bug resulted in posts by about 14 million users to be listed as public, even though the user's account settings were not set to public. We know. What's next, right? Well, anyway, Facebook says users should check the privacy settings for entries posted between May 18th to May 27th. Facebook says they noticed the problem on May 22nd and began to revert the posts to correct settings, but that it took a while, as in five days. The bug reportedly cropped up as developers were working on a new way to share photos and stuff in users' profiles. For most of us, a nine-day stretch on Facebook is just a few entries. For others, it's hundreds. Hit the link for more details, and we also have guides to help with privacy settings, data control, and, if need be, how to delete your account and information from Facebook. We love us some Lexus here at Digital Trends, unless it's the meandering ES line of boat-like limos so popular with, shall we say, mature buyers. But it looks like Lexus has invigorated the ES line with some worthy upgrades, especially when it comes to handling. With cars like the BMW 3 Series and the Acura TLX gunning for its audience, Lexus has turned on the charm for the ES. DT car guy Chris Chin recently took one to the track, no less, to see what's new. But first, what's not new? The AES line is still solid, quiet, powerful, and packed with luxury, including an available 1800-watt 12-speaker Mark Levinson audio system for blasting the Eagles at near-concert-level volume. But back to the new stuff. The ES line now offers Alexa integration, high-res LCD instruments, a very sporty 350F Sport variant, and a hybrid option that gets 44 miles to the gallon. So hey, something for everyone. And we admit, they look pretty sharp. Jin drove last year's model and the new version at the track and says the difference is significant. Check out his full review at the link. Well, someone had to do it. We're just kind of relieved it was MIT and not someone with more nefarious goals. They created a psychopathic AI and they named it Norman, as in Norman Bates. We'll let you Google that one if you don't know who that is. Anyway, the researchers fed Norman the psycho AI, a steady stream of negativity mined from the darker corners of Reddit. And when confronted with this colorful image, Norman said it was the picture of a man killed by a speeding car. Okay. Non-sociopathic AI systems said it was a wedding cake on a table. On the serious side of things, this is not joke research. There is legitimate concern that the behavior of an AI is influenced by what kind of data it feeds on, if you will. So the Norman experiment shows that much like humans, AIs tend to be quite negative if they are surrounded by a lot of negativity. MIT has also created an empathetic AI as well called Deep Empathy, although we think they should rename it Florence. Hit the link for more on MIT's interesting experiment, and that'll do it for DT Daily this week. Head on over to digitaltrends.com for all the rest of the day's tech news, and be sure to stop by our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.